It seems that every year I go to my annual school trip, I bring home loads of Warhammer minis. And apparently a free miniature as well. I was in Berlin and I went to visit a Warhammer store. I came out with some blade guard, an apothecary and this little dude. He's that free miniature you can get by going to the store and building him there. And since I got back, I've been excited to convert him and paint him. And because he has a huge flamer, it is only fitting that I make him a salamander. I started by cutting him off his base, as he had his feet permanently fused with the surface. A couple of precise knife cuts were enough to separate his legs from the rock. I made the base quickly. Nothing fancy, I used some corkboard, some stones and some texture paste and applied them to the base. Now let's make his pose a bit more dynamic. I started by cutting out the underarm and triangle behind his right leg. After that, I made a second cut right behind his shin armor. If you cut correctly, the leg will become very loose and only a gentle cut is then needed to completely separate the pieces. Just like that. I then used blue tech to make the first version of the pose. After I was happy, I simply switched the blue tech for green stuff and let it cure overnight. I also decided to change the arm pose. I imagined this soldier stepping on this elevated piece of concrete, lowering his weapon and gazing at the distant battlefield. His flamer is dropped down on a more relaxed pose, while his head is leaning back as if looking at the distance. When the pose was set, I covered the messy joints with green stuff ribbons, straps and capes. Those I made by rolling out a sheet of green stuff, cutting it into a square shape and using some super glue to stick it to the body. I also layered multiple smaller ones opposed to one big cape. I added some accessories like this pistol and this bird skull. Off camera I also made some tubes and cables connecting to his backpack and then left everything to dry overnight. And while we're waiting for that, let's dig through some salamanders lore together, shall we? The salamanders are one of the loyalist chapters of the Space Marines. During the Great Crusade and the Horus Heresy, they served as the 18th Legion of the Imperium. They're widely known for their love of everything including fire and burning stuff down, and also, strangely, their concern for civilian casualties. Even more, they believe that one of the most important duties of theirs is to protect the lives of the Emperor's innocent subjects whenever and whenever possible. This is typically unusual for a space marine, isn't it? Their homeworld is called Nocturne and they reside on its moon, Prometheus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Nocturne was the place where Vulcan, the Primarch of the Salamander's Legion, was found. As the Emperor of Mankind came searching for him, they competed in a series of challenges, which resulted in Vulcan winning and the Emperor saving his son's life. Vulcan felt great respect for the stranger, so he bowed to him and swore his loyalty. After their reunion with his father, Vulcan began leading the 18th Legion. They soon became known for their strength, courage and honor, as well as the skills with which they fashioned their weapons of war. Let's paint my flamethrowing, peasant-loving mountain of Cermite, shall we? I primed the miniature black and then started layering different shades of green with an airbrush. If you are following this as a tutorial on painting salamanders, note that this is not necessary. But I'm trying to use an airbrush as much as I can because I really want to learn to use it well. So this is also not the prettiest job ever, but remember I'm still learning. So, a layer of dark green and then two shades of lighter green until I'm basically spraying lime in the highlights. I base coated the black areas using two thin coats of Abaddon Black. This includes the right knee, both shoulder pads, top of his backpack, his head and some areas on the flamer. I then use this lovely brass paint from Vallejo to base coat the brassy areas on the flamer. I love this paint, it has a beautiful consistency and exceptional coverage. I also use it for the Quiller. Even though at the end this is going to be gold, this brass will serve as a great base tone for later painting.
Now comes the relaxing and satisfying part called edge highlighting the Space Marine power armor. I used a bit thinned down mood green from Citadel and just glided with the side of the brush along the sharp edges of ceramide plates. I highlighted almost everything, but I left out the hard to reach areas and less visible areas. After all, I'm here to enjoy myself, not to test my sanity. I then highlighted the black areas using a light grey. It might look annoying here on the shoulder pads, but you can simply just tidy up the line with more Abaddon black when the, once the highlight is dry. It is very simple and looks very clean in the end, so I think it is worth it. I gave the lighter areas a sepia wash to bring out some details. I also used a gloss sepia wash on the Aquiller to make it really shiny. And we're going to now accentuate this by highlighting it with the goldest gold I own, Retributor Armor. I decided to do something a bit different with the capes. I started painting in these scales as if the cape is actually dragon skin. It turned out pretty cool and I'm very pleased with the result. I highlighted the charcoal skin with light grey and then very carefully picked out the eyes in this bright vivid red. After that I glued the head in place. Then came the last and definitely the most satisfying part of the whole painting process, at least for me, and it was those freehand flames under armor. I was doing it for the first time actually, and I absolutely adored the process. It is just incredible how it layer by layer comes together into this amazing image. I replicated the flame on Marine's back and, of course, on his right shoulder pad. The base got a quick and simple paint job, brown for the dirt, grey for stones and concrete, dry brushing everything. I covered the base in tufts and a black ring concludes this paint job. Let's take a look at him. I've always wanted to paint salamanders, and this boy was just the perfect opportunity to make one. What do you think? I, for myself, absolutely love him, and it is making me very, very inspired to start a bigger salamander project. Should I do it? Tell me in the comments. Also, follow me on Instagram. I've been posting a bit more then, and honestly, it would be a huge motivation for me if I had a bit more activity there, so help me out if you want. It would be very appreciated. I will try to deliver another video before the end of the year, and then we will be back working on my Forgotten Marines. They have just received a great backup in three epic walkers, so if you want to see more about that, go check out the video. Hope to see you there. And until we see each other again, have a good one, everyone.